to another vlog and you guys have been asking for a craft tour sorry about the light the light is not great in here a lot of people have been asking what type of materials i use for a craft tour now this is going to be an extensive craft tour because i have a whole lot all right and your girl might have to sit down because bending and up and down and pulling is not gonna work for me okay so this basket here is basically recyclables this is stuff that i use on a daily and save so i'm not going to pull everything out but just so you get an idea i got a couple like paper rolls some sponges which i use for like cushions and mattresses when i'm doing barbie beds and um couches got like a gatorade bottle some shampoo bottles soda bottles um i also keep the rings to these bottles um, some tin cans that had like apple pies in them. Um, more bottles. A lot of bottles in here. Not, you know, not really anything else. A lot of different shaped bottles. Um, some Play-Doh containers, which can be used for like cleaning buckets for Barbie or um, trash cans or a lot of different stuff. So I got those. I got some corrugated cardboard that I kept from a um, pizza box, I think it was. So yeah, this crate just has a bunch of recyclables in it, okay? So we're gonna start with this bottom cube. As you can see, this is a nine cube organizer. We found this outside, it was a curbside pickup, but it had a shelf here, but it wasn't used, but it's in pretty good shape, so. All right, so down here I have like four little shelves. I got these from Dollar Tree, these containers. I think y'all seen these on another haul. Okay, so first we have these pipettes. Um, I don't know if you guys watch DIY miniature videos on YouTube, but basically these can be used for a lot of different things. For shampoo bottles, um, soda bottles, making little small soda bottles. So this is a hundred, no, a 50 pack of three milliliter plastic pipettes. A pack of cosmetic wedges that I got from the Dollar Tree as well. These can be used for pillows, it can be used for miniature squishies, a lot of different things. So As you can see, I have my stuff labeled. And this has glass jars, moss, chalkboard, and hula grass twine. So yeah, you've seen a lot of these on hauls that I've done. So these are those little glass jars you guys seen. I have a miniature chalkboard, a pack of moss. This can be used for grass or plants for miniatures. These can be used for, um, I don't know if you ever went in somebody's house and they have like these filled with fruits. I usually, I, I got that idea for these and these. Um, the chalkboard can be used for like a um, a teacher's background or a daycare background. And then this reminded me of mop. So that's why I got that. I can make a couple mops. I have some match boxes. These um, I use for drawers to make drawers and like nightstands or dressers or TV stands. So I have those. I have some white and yellow chalk. I have some thumbtacks, different kinds. Uh, colorful ones, circle ones, the regular ones, and in here I have different types of beads and charms, colorful wooden beads. Um, these can be used for vases, perfume bottles, like a paper clips, different colors, and these like screws. They reminded me of cups, so Barbie cups. So I got those, and then I have these white mini foam balls. Um, these could be used for almost anything. So I got those. And then we have a bag of... These are um, wooden clothespins. Miniature. So that's what they look like. They're very small. Which has some acrylic gems. Some buttons. Um, Velcro strips. And these are like hooks and catchers. And um, jump rings for necklaces. And... Some more charms and stuff in there. Um, and like I said, a lot of this you've seen in a recent haul. I have these miniature um, photo frames. I have some gold thumbtacks that look like doorknobs. That's why I got them. Some toothpaste, toothbrush cases, covers. Um, these can be used for vacuums, miniature vacuums, stuff like that. Um, I got some zippers in here. I also got some stencils and these pills can also be used for, once you dump the powder out, they can be used for shampoo bottles, miniature um, conditioner bottles, stuff like that. I'm trying to get y'all a better light. 
And then I also got a box of Velcro strip. And this is 10 pounds. Oh, it holds up to 10 pounds. It's just one roll of industrial strength Velcro strip. So I got that. I have some LED lights. These you can find at Dollar Tree, just a battery pack. LED lights and I've used these for my houses the houses oh I built a dollhouse for Leah for Christmas but um that's what I use them for and I got some miniature Christmas trees right here that I was supposed to use but didn't um and here I have a um 10 piece needle tip this is when you have glue that comes in like a big container you need it to use for precision you use you put the glue in here and it has like a needle top like that so I got those I have a syringe right here um, another recyclable thing that I had and thought I'd keep and I have two of these soap dishes which I thought were really cute um, this one is pretty but um, these can be used for luggage cases the roll-on um, cases so yeah all right moving on to the second bottom cube in the middle I have a container of juke cord um, different types. This is like a thicker one. These are thinner. I um, have those. And then this one is more of my tools container. So I have a handsaw for wood. I have this case which has um, the extra cutters for my paper cutter. Some straight pins and some smaller like, straight pins. And I also keep my exacto blades. My extra exacto blades in here. This was a exacto knife kit, but I used all of the knives in there. I have two of these mini hand drills. I don't know what the other one is, but precision screwdriver set. And these are, you know, if I need to make holes in wood and small holes are small screws, this is what I use. I also have this, like, I don't know what this is for, but I know it's for fabrics. But I use it for polymer clay, like to shape and mold. And it's just like a pointer on the end, or to make small holes and stuff. Um, I got a couple of these Exacto knives from the Dollar Tree. They do not work that good, but I decided to keep them. Um, I have a hole punch, which is the miniature one. This is not the regular shaped hole punch. This is mini holes. It's a small group. <laughs> I have some makeup applicators for um, when I use my ch chalk pastels. So I have a pack of 20 count of those. I have my, this is full of exacto knives. I have a protractor in here to make circles. This is the other drill set I got. Um, most of this is just like blades and box cutters and pliers and wire cutters. Um, a foam cutter. This doesn't work. I got this from Walmart. It was on sale, but it doesn't work. Measuring tape and a regular hole punch. Yeah, that's all. I have this bucket here and this is another recyclables bucket this has smaller things in it like the netting from oranges um straws little planters tops uh plastic cups applesauce cups tops of things spoons just little stuff that i feel like i can use and i do use a lot of this stuff so coffee stirs um dental floss wire that I find around the house these I made a vase out of these for a miniature doll so I have all of my yeah later I have all of my sewing stuff my needles um I have weave needle and thread this is like good for cording like putting cords on stuff I have some straight pins embroidery string embroidery hoops measuring tape thread um Embroidery needles are in here as well. I have my crayons, my markers, thin crayons, and that's all that's in here, crayons and markers. I have a box of glue sticks, different sizes and different colors. I have, as you can see, some glitter ones in here. I have a paper cutter, and this is, I need a bigger one. This is only a five inch paper cutter. I need a 12 by 12, but no, it's, it's called Rue. How makes it good make I have some artificial plants, which can be used for plants in doll houses. These are the plants that goes in like aquariums. So I got them, I got some of those. And I also have some pipe cleaners, different colors, white. Moving to this middle cube on the middle shelf, 
Um, I have a box of melty beads. And I got this from Walmart. I don't use it for the purpose of melting the beads and making little things. These little things I use for tops to miniature shampoos and stuff like that. Or toothpaste. You'll see. I have like all my beads and my jewelry and gems and stuff. So I have like some pearls. A lot of diamonds. Glitter. Glass beads. Um, more of those glass jars. I have some diamond roll. And the, more gems and beads. Just all of my gems and beads and stuff. As you can see, some buttons. Um, these tube confetti. I have a couple of those. More Velcro dots. Um, more acrylic gems. Things of that nature. Um, some pony beads. Some pearls. And some little ribbons. All of my clay stuff. So I have a thing of clay. I use this to hold stuff still to dry. Like I might put it on a pen and sit it in the Play-Doh so it'll dry. So yeah, I have that. I have some nail fruit. So you slice them really thin and they look like... I haven't opened them yet. But like lemons and strawberries and kiwis. So called polymer fruit. I have those. I have some embossing tools different ones these i ordered off of amazon um i have some mascara wands which i use to add texture to the clay um i have some white erasers that can be used for several different things when you're shaving when you're making like a pot of a plate of pasta for the barbies it could be used as like parmesan cheese it can be used for sculpting so i have those i have these bigger embossing tools that i got off of amazon I have some little, this is when I first started I bought these because I wasn't too sure about clay. But I got these little polymer clays, white. I have two of those. And I have a pinky razor in here, which you can see I've already like cut some off to do some type of shaping. And I have a thing of air dry clay. And I have some model magic clay that I opened already in a flask in a baggie. And I have some modeling clay. I have some rulers all different colors and kinds my favorite one is this metal ruler because it has the cork on the bottom and it doesn't move some crafting clips and this is just the whole stuff in place i have the black the gold these little pink ones and i also have some finger protectors in here and you just put them on your finger like that i have some eva foam thin this is a thin kind different colors and I also have some sandpaper in here. And I also have these paint swatches that you get from like Walmart. And I use these for a lot of different things. When I make like some miniature tomatoes, like the flat tomatoes or sandwiches and everything. I use these for everything. So yeah, I got those. Okay. Only one of, I think, two containers that I have. But this is all my wood stuff. Jumbo. Um, not jumbo, but popsicle sticks. My little polish that I got from Dollar Tree. Some dowels, wooden dowels, different sizes. I have another pack, a couple packs of wooden dowels over here. Um, yeah, that's all that's in here. And some craft cubes, which y'all seen on another haul. So I have these chalk pastels, which I got off of Amazon. So it's a pack of those. And I have a box here where I collect fabrics. Now, some of these fabrics are I've bought them like this or in squares, but most some of this is also like recycled fabrics. Like this was a ribbon that Aaliyah had that I'm going to use to make like a miniature pocketbook. Um, this is like sleeves to a shirt, like just any fabrics I come across. This was at Walmart for 99 cents, like a white fur. So I just collect different fabrics that I think have really cool prints. Right now my favorite is this lemon one. So yeah, that's all that's in there. And I also have a placement that I use for like flooring and stuff like that. Major. Pick up this ruler. Okay, I have some of these like rulers on the side here because I use those a lot. A circular one. And there's something over here. I think it's another one. Yeah. These type of rulers. They're small. Alright, so this is all my scissors and my nail files. 
Now the files I use to sand down little pieces of wood and stuff, regular little nail files like this. Um, a lot of my scissors are in here, my small scissors, precision scissors, my decorative scissors are in here, my rotary knife is in here. Get you one of these if you're a crafter, I love it, it cuts fabric and everything. Um, I have a nail clip in here. Um, I think that's it. These are my newer scissors that I just bought. And they're from Fiskars. And they um, cut plastic without sticking or titanium. Got those. Nail polish. So, when I'm crafting and doing miniatures, I do use acrylic paint. But the best paint to use is nail polish. Especially for something that you want to have gloss. So, I have several different colors of nail polish. Clear, I use to give things a smooth, um, shiny finish. So, yeah, I have all types of colors of nail polish. And I have some makeup, which I was using for the replacement of chalk pastels until I got my chalk pastels. But I still use these sometimes. Um, I also have some chalk white writers in here that I got from Dollar Tree. I have several colors of those. Purple, blue, gray, orange, pink, green, white. Um, we got some puff paint in here. I got some pink one, a blue one. I think I got a white one somewhere. And yeah, white one. And then I need to get more colors of these. And then I have just glue eraser I got from Dollar Tree. I've used it a couple of times. Um, it's okay. My regular acrylic paint. And these are 50 cents at Walmart. So anytime I see a color that I don't have, I just grab it. Um, a lot of these aren't open yet. But and then I got this watercolor paint as well. Um, I do let the kids do crafts too so this is nice to have in this cube i have this little container and in here i just have glitters different colored glitters and different designs of washi tape got a couple different washi tape stuff that i need to work on or started and didn't finish as far as miniatures like this little bucket it broke um it's like a cleaning bucket but it's a lot of stuff that I want to fix. This was like a skateboard in the making that I haven't finished. Um, this was, I made like a Taco Bell type thing. And it's like some burritos in there and the little sauce packets. Um, I didn't finish that. Um, this was one of my first crafts. This is a DVD player. You can see like the slot that the DVDs, DVDs go in, the little buttons in the back. Didn't finish. It's like a, a lot of stuff I didn't finish. Um, this was a globe that I was in the process of doing like the little desktop globes. Um, these were planters that I did when I first started crafting that I didn't finish. This was a blender that I made out of shampoo tops that I didn't finish. Um, not shampoo tops, but the little travel case tops um, that I didn't finish. A lot of stuff in here I didn't finish. This was like a little Hello Kitty drawer that I didn't get to finish. Um, got a baking dish in here that I didn't get to finish. So, you know, basically stuff that I didn't finish that I want to finish. Um, a guitar. Didn't. I have two of these tool. I have glitter. And I got these from Walmart. And I have a white one. So I have those. Um, I also have some spray paints. I got chalkboard. I have a polyurethane gives it that clear set and shine and I need to get more spray paint you guys but I, I don't use them that much and I have a metallic gold which I need a silver and a white and I think I'll be fine oh these are like recyclable things that again I picked up some rubber bands um bag handles some headphones that that can be used I use these for like shower heads um some ribbon rubber bands old headphones stuff like that these i use for like cords when i make electronical stuff more wood some wood planks these were um wood slats that i picked up from home depot last year and i just keep them in here um got some more dowels popsicle sticks some square dowels some um jumbo popsicle sticks um some bigger oh no these are skinny sticks um I think that's it that's in here oh the no the jumbo plastic so, but i had collected so much wood i had to separate it so this is stuff that i've opened 
and I'm using this before I use any of these things. But again, um, these logs I found from Dollar Tree, which is, goes really good in like landscaped, um, outside landscaped, and these like wooden posts. I got these and more skinny sticks. These coffee stirs I actually got from Wawa. A um, couple of like. The, uh, Dollar Tree they have like bags of um, wood that you can make like bird houses and stuff with I buy those you know to keep like little wood pieces that I can cut a lot of different ones popsicle sticks dowels skewers all of that kind of stuff is in here stuff that I've opened as you can see like little tags wooden tags I make plates and stuff sushi plates out of those so this is a lot of used cardboard and foam board that I've cut up already, but can I still use when I need little pieces of like foam board and cardboard? It's all of my wire and ribbon. So I have some full suede cord in here for like pocketbooks. I want to make a Barbie pocketbook or a belt or a leash, anything of that nature. Um, I have some elastic cord. I have some wire, different colors and different sizes, different colors of ribbon, different colors of elastic lace. Um, red ribbon, some craft wire, some planters wire, I think it's called. Um, more, uh, this is deer skin leather craft lace. Some, you know, uh, garden wire. I have some jewel chain jewelry in here. Um, just as all it is, ribbons and wires. Yeah. So that's what's in there. The adhesive cork sheet. And this can be used for a lot of different things, y'all. This can be used for DIYs around the house. This can be used for bulletin boards. This can be used for brick. When you make small brick, um, it could be used for, um, if you wanted to do like a playground outside type of theme, this could be like the flooring on the ground. Like this could, I love this, okay? And you can get this from Dollar Tree. It's a dollar a piece. And then we have this bag of colorful foam balls. I want to get different sizes of this. This is the only size that I have. And it's also some glittery um, pipe cleaner in here. This was from around Christmas time. So I just put it away because I don't think I'm going to need it. But just in case. But that's just what that is. So that's everything from that part of the show. I got this stencil wheel. And it just comes with different um, stencils on it. And you just turn it. I don't know if I can turn it, but yeah, you just turn it and it's different patterns on it as it turns. So I got that as well. All right, so moving on up. Now we are at the top of my organizer bin, okay? Lighting is kind of crazy, but bear with me, you guys. So starting back here, I have three of these Elmer's glue. I have three of them whatever I have a I have two wood glues the Elmer's brand and this one I got from like a dollar store I actually have three wood glues oh and this one this little small one um I have a lot of these tacky glues great for crafting I love tacky glue I have a lot of these my podges which are great for and there's different kinds of my podges I just got plaid because I use it for a finishing coat um I have some gorilla glue for the bigger projects that I need stuff to really hold um, I have some spray adhesive I have some puzzle glue and craft glue I have a lot of craft glue I got that from the Dollar Tree you can get that from the Dollar Tree and I have two of these jumbo glue sticks I have two of them and again these are more of that craft glue um, this is my favorite glue so far, and this is the Beacon Foam and Poster Board Adhesive. Y'all, so bomb. I love that one. And then I have this glitter glue, and it's for writing, I guess, but gold, silver, and I think this is like a white. I have some crazy glue. I have a lot of those. I have some Elmer's Bond Precision Tips glues. And I got those from Dollar Store as well. I have some adhesive fabric glue. This is for fabrics, of course. I have some rubber cement. I haven't used this on any of my miniatures, but I feel like it's good to have. So I got it. And then I have two of these 6,000. This is for when I do bigger projects, like the actual house or structure. I use these. 
some little sharpeners in here that I just threw in here because I didn't know where to put them. And here is all my tape. Um, scotch tape, paper tape, double-sided tape. This is from Dollar Tree and it's awesome, y'all. Um, aluminum tape. Uh, I don't know what this is called. Floral tape. Aluminum tape. Duct tape. Um, so washi tape in here. That's not supposed to be in there. Uh, I also have like refills for my double-sided tape right here. Refills. Um, and I got this pop dot adhesives. Didn't use them yet, but got it from Dollar Tree. And I also got these glue dots that I got from Dollar Tree. Didn't use them yet. Um, also, I have two of these extra long decorative toothpicks. These are not like the regular toothpicks. They have like a design at the top. But um, got those. Got some matchsticks. Um, I use the bottom of these for surf stuff, like legs to stuff. And some regular toothpicks as well. So that's what's in there. Barbies. Um, this is what I use for measurements, models, um, soon to be pictures. These are the two model Barbies that I have. So, yeah. Um, using these in other vlogs, I gave all the rest of them to Ali. I just kept this one because this one is like really bomb print. But it's just like a little dresser. I'm going to use this for what it is, a dresser. On my Barbie clothes, stuff that I bought. Shoes and clothes and glasses and accessories. Um, that's what's in there. And then in here is more of that stuff. Shoes, baby bottles, props basically. Stuff that I can use for props. We have a lot of stickers. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of stickers and a coolant, I think they're called. And so those are the stickers. They are used for wall art, little books, anything like that. I have some tissue paper, some picnic type print, green, black. I have more tissue paper. Um, some glitter Eva foam. I only got one of these. I found it somewhere and it's just really pretty. I got that. And then the rest of this is just colored construction paper. I basically just have a pack of 50 sheet cardstock, the black cardstock. I don't know if y'all know what cardstock is. It's a harder paper. People use it to make cards. Um, so I have that and then I have some white cardstock that I just picked up. And I have some marshmallow colored cardstock. Here I just have some scraps that I use and it's a lot of it and I don't want to throw it away. Um, some paper bags. Some construction paper, a metallic gift bag that I found because I couldn't find metallic paper. So I used the metallic bag for like mirrors and stuff. Um, these are like stickers and um, printouts that I printed out. Um, these are printouts along with patterns to cut out for Barbie clothes. And I usually put my glue sticks in here. It's only one in here right now. My other two are over here. I have a smaller one for precision and this the blue one which is the same as this one i have some more stickers a lot more stickers stickers i have more of that evil foam that you've seen here goes more of that silver evil foam i have some um i forget what this is called felt i have felt i have different color felts these are 28 cents at walmart so whenever i see a color i don't have i just pick it up and these can be used for pillows couches beds all that good stuff um more eva foam in different colors more felt more eva foam and more felt this is all eva foam and felt um over here more of that scrap paper this is scrap book paper um, this is paper that's used for like backgrounds and flooring, but these are pieces that I've cut and still wanted to use. Um, I have some wrapping paper in here, more more recyclable stuff, some carpet, the stuff, the stuff that go on the carpets to help them not skip slide, pieces of cardboard, paper towels. Um, yeah, all of that is in there, and in here I have scrap fabric, so just fabric that I cut and it's enough to keep to do something else this is actually the bottom to a pair of pajamas but yeah I got some scrap fabric in there more Eva foam some sales paper some printouts that I did and my clipboard is in here and some more of that cardstock this is um it has different colors in here as you can see at the bottom like gray Weathered gray, punchy peach, bubble gum, pink, 
Um, this is another one with all of these colors in it. And then I have this one, which is, um, I forgot what color, cream, cream colored cardstock. So all of that is in here. And in this big, the big container, I have some more scrap paper, which I need more, but I want to get it from Michaels. Michaels has more of the flooring and stuff that I need. This is more like um, walls that would be in a dollhouse, but I got a book of scrap paper. Um, and here is a photo album. When I first started, before I got a printer, I used to cut circulars out for different pictures for the walls. And, you know, when I made miniature food items, I would cut it and it's easier to see everything. So I would just glue it on a piece of paper. So anything I needed um, as far as products um, what are in here are pictures that I would like to use for the wall. Um, this is some wallpaper I made. So yeah, this is just full of um, sales paper. And this is like, um, this is the plastic that came on the roses that I bought home. I, I kept it because it was really pretty. And this is some party bags that I had from Easter, I think. No, not Easter, Valentine's Day for Michaela's classroom. And then under this, we have more of that scrap of paper with different prints. And we also have more of that adhesive cork sheet. And then under here, I think we have more cardstock. Yeah, it's another pack of cardstock, the colorful kind. These are the colors that are in here. And I have a tall pad or a long pad of construction paper. And the rest of these are boxes. Now, when you watch different YouTube videos on how to make miniatures, they call this paperboard. So, cereal boxes, soda boxes, anything of that nature is called paperboard. And it's very easy to sculpt and use and cut. So, I love paperboard. I love projects that need paperboard. So, that is what's in this. There. Here I have all of my artificial plants, plants that I use in the houses to make smaller plants, things of that nature. So that is there. I just picked this up the other day. This is some burlap and um, regular, you know, color. And this is pink. And my camera's about to die, so we gotta speed this up. All right, this is a shelving thing I made to hold my miniatures. As you can see, I just made this desktop the other day. And as, like I said, this is that paperboard. I made a, a computer monitor and I just stacked sheets of paperboard, sanded them down and painted them to make that. But a lot of this is just paperboard. The computer, um, this is the speakers back here with the cord attached. Remember that twine I told you I used for cording? And it has like the little plug-in, get some like little plug-in thingy. Um, this is a MacBook that I made not too long ago. More of that nail polish. I have my brother's obituary there. This is a magnifying glass with a light so that I can get close to my miniatures when I'm crafting. I have a couple of these paint dishes that I use. You can get these from Dollar Tree. Come in a pack of six. Um, this is my water that I use when I'm painting. I have some glue sticks here. Um, about, what is that? 15 glue sticks. And in these two containers, I have one with paint brushes, sponge brushes, all paint brushes and sponge brushes. And these are just pencils and pens and markers, stuff that I pick up around the house that I still use for crafting. And then I have a stapler here. You can see, well, you cannot see, but I have also have a cutting board under here. Don't know what size this is, but I love it. And then I have a, um, this is for my hot glue gun so it doesn't burn my table or leave glue residue on my table. And this was a record player I made not too long ago. A miniature record player. I didn't finish it, but it has like the needle to put on a record. Um, and then down here, I have this crate, which has a thing of polyfill that I got off of let, not let go. Yeah, Facebook Marketplace for a dollar. But it's a big thing of polyfill for, for pillows and things of that nature. I have my trash can that I need to dump. And this is like paperboard and stuff I use for that computer I just did. And lastly, we have the contact paper, rolls of contact paper. That's all this is, this is for flooring and cabinets and countertops. I have that box. It's filled with plastic. So I use these for windows or shelves at a store. Um... Yeah, so this is just recycled plastic. 
and it comes in handy. I have a bunch of it. And I also have this, this black styrofoam. I just thought it would come in handy. And I have cardboard back here. So yeah, that's some of my craft stuff. And over here, I put stuff over here too. It's kind of dark in here, but I have this long brown construction paper that I use. And just to show you guys, babe, babe, what the plastic is used for. So see how I got like, this is a sub, uh, uh, like a uh, restaurant counter and it has slits in it where I put the different lunch meats and stuff. It's a subway counter, but it guards it. Oh. All right, you guys. So that is the end of my craft tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, like this video up, comment down below. Um, what you think of my craft station and think that any suggestions you have to add to it and make sure you subscribe love you guys see you gang gang